with the Lego movie, we embrace the adventure genre. With Lego Batman, we are subverting the superhero genre. So we're trying to tell the Lego version of these genres. And with Ninjago, it's the Lego version of a martial arts movie, a Lego version of a kaiju movie, meaning you have great martial arts and you've got great Japanese mechs and putting all that into one movie. In our mind, the kid is growing up. You start off playing with Lego bricks, telling your own story as you play. Then you start getting introduced to comic books and superheroes. Then you get to Lego Batman. And then as you get older, your parents want you to do sports. Kids get into martial arts. So it's kind of for us, it's almost like boyhood set in Lego. We, it's not something that we say out loud. But in our minds, as we create these stories, it's about what is a child's progression as they grow up in Lego. We have an amazing comedy all-star group for the ninjas. We have Dave Franco, we have Michael Pena, Kumail Nunjani, we have Fred Armisen, Abby Jacobson, and Zach Woods. So it's an amazing cast. And what we love about it is a diverse cast ethnically. It's a diverse cast as far as their style of comedy and makes it for a really interesting mix. We thank Silicon Valley, we love that show and several of our, our actors are on that show. But they all bring a really interesting mix and in many ways they're writers themselves. So not only do they come in and read the lines, but they create their own twist on the characters. We really like how our cast is ethnically and culturally diverse because that's the world of Ninjago. It's not one specific country, one specific ethnicity. It really represents the world, the, the mashup world that we live in today, of all different ethnicities, uh, no borders. Uh, and that's kind of the unity that we want to uh, portray in the movie. The martial arts in this movie is designed by Jackie Chan. And the way it works is that the JC stunt team does all these martial arts in real life. We film it, and Jackie's working with them on those, on those action beats, and to make it not only martial arts, authentic martial arts action, but Jackie Chan style. What that means is it adds real comedy to it. There's a Buster Keaton feel to it. So then we take those live action shots, and then we translate into animated shots into Lego format. So all of a sudden you see Jackie Chan style fighting in a minifig style. And it's really funny because the minifigs can't move the way Jackie Chan does. They don't have the flexibility the way he can bend. And so we play with the constraints of the minifigs, the, the limited movements. So I think it's really unique and we hope to be able to show you how we did in live action, how we translated into uh, animation as well. I think people will be surprised, not just a boy movie. There's a lot there for women as well. There's a great mom character, Coco, played by Olivia Munn, and then you have Nia, the sister, who plays, played by Abby Jacobson. So you have some strong female characters as well.